Okay, welcome to a preview of the international friendly between the Black Stars of Ghana and the Switzerland national team. Both teams will be heading to uh, the FIFA World Cup after this uh, friendly. So it's going to be very, very crucial uh, for both teams. And interestingly, of course, the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be taking on Portugal in another friendly. And of course, the Black Stars will be very interested in that one because, of course, they'll be facing uh, the Sele South of Portugal in their group H opener <coughs> on November 24th. Once again, welcome to our video. My name is Ola Femi Ashaldu. This is Nigeria Super Fans Forum. Kado Gundari and James Agberebi joins via video. Guys, you're welcome to the preview. Thank you, Femi. It's always a pleasure. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Femi. Okay, so the game will be taking place um, at the Al Naya Stadium. It will be taking place at the Al Naya Stadium. And it's going to be 10 a.m. Ghana time. 10 a.m. Ghana time. So it's going to be in the morning. It will, it will be in the evening. And um, James, I'll start with you. Uh, this game, um, <laughs> there are going to be prediction for the game. One, a draw has been predicted for this game. Two, um, it is expected that Ghana will score first. Then three, the game is not expected to produce too many goals. And as, as a matter of fact, it's just under 2.5 goals in this game. But if you look at the past uh, four games that Ghana have played, they've only won once, which was the narrow victory against Nicaragua, because, of course, against Nigeria, the first leg of the playoff it ended 0 0. The second leg ended 1 1 in Abuja. Then they had the game, the international friendly against Brazil. Of course, we all knew it ended 3 0. What do you think will happen in this game? Well, um, I'm going to see two teams who will be a bit cautious because the way players have been dropping like flies, you know. Even Breeze now, we even cause injury. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we also have the Kunku, a normal tackle that we know. We won't see worse tackles that you see players come out of it. But these days, anything can cause injury now, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm going to see two teams who will be cautious, um, who, who want to approach the game with... Um, um, uh, I don't know much uh, force because the World Cup is just how I many days away, and who wants to uh, lose his place, you know? So, we're going to say a good game, we're not going to say a feisty encounter. And uh, the, the Swiss team will go as the informed team, they've won their last three games. And um, uh, compared to Ghana, who, who, who defeated Nicaragua, they struggled to defeat Nicaragua, they lost to Brazil, you know, there has been uh, mixed um, react, um, uh, outcomes for the Ghanaian team. Result, yeah. Yeah, so for me, um, we might want to give it to Switzerland, you know. So I'm not really expecting a, a, a five-tier encounter, just a, a good game, you know, so that the coaches, as well as uh, Atuado, we have the opportunity to, to now look at this team. I think from here, we will now have an idea of the kind of uh, players, the, 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 the guys who who, who been the, in the starting eleven for, for the Black Stars, you know. So uh, they, they will be up against a different team. <clears throat> the Swiss team, this is one of the, the teams, a lot of um, pundits, everybody are looking up to. <clears throat> Remember in their first game at the last World Cup, they drew against Brazil. <clears throat> you know, I think they got to the round of 16. So they seem that we give any opposition a good game because they have quality players. You know, so I'm looking up uh, forward to an exciting game. Uh, and uh, I hope that Otardo will be able to use this game to assess his team to know the, the kind of players he's going to uh, uh, parade. Uh, for, for the Black Stars. So uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed. I hope that at the end of the day, um, the, the outcome of the, the result, uh, the outcome of the game will not cause another opera and distraction. You remember what happened with the, the Nicaragua issue? So <laughs> only the, I hope the Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian um, fans will not come out and start shouting, it, uh, you know. So let's just hope for a good game for, for the Black Stars. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Kayode, uh, I'm sure the Black side they are playing a very worthy, or they will be playing a very worthy uh, opposition. Because if you cast your mind back at the 2010 World Cup, Switzerland defeated Spain in the first game, first group game, and it looked like you no know, Spain were not going to make it. Then look at uh, the past result of the Black Stars. Thanks to uh, Ishaku's goal in that, in, in that game, friendly against Nicaragua, it could have ended new new. Then, but. Now, uh, predict predictions have seemed to favor uh, the Black Stars. But look at it. What do you think Otuado will be looking at in this game? And of course, also it's going to be uh, maybe a rivalry between Thomas Pate and Granny Shaka. Now, what, 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 what's your take? Uh, Femi, I think <clears throat> this game will give us an idea of what uh, Otuado's first 11, his starting 11 mm. against Portugal should be. 
He has, as you know, the thing about coaches is they, before games like this, they have already played the game in their head. It's about translating what he has in his head onto the page, into the player, transposing it into the players, and the players now translating it on the page. So I expect that is we are going to see his possible strongest eleven starting out against Switzerland in this game because that will give us an idea of what the team is going to look like uh, against Portugal in their opening game. I expect to see a team that would like James said, be very very cautious because at this point you are already in, in in Qatar. Even though the training camp is in the UAE, you're already in Qatar. Nobody wants to sustain any stupid injury again. So everybody is going to be cautious. And luckily, that will be on both sides. Yeah, I, I don't expect uh, a fire for fire in this game. I expect everybody to put out their best, but not to be unnecessarily rash and going into tackles without thinking. So on the part of the coach, I expect him to feel his best, his strongest level in his head. But what he has in his head may be different from the reality on the ground. He has a way he wants the players to play. He has a way he wants them to respond. The players may not quickly grasp it. That's where I also agree with James in the, again that the fans have to be patient. Mm. You do not build a formidable team with one game. It's not possible mm. anywhere in the world. Even the Brazil, yes, even with the Brazil that everybody is tipping to be the to, to win the, the the competition eventually, you they are not perfect, Femi. There will be some rough edges here and there. There will be mistakes. But the more see the players, all some of these things get back to the players. The things, the feedbacks from the fans that ah, this player is not good enough. This player is not good enough. We are not looking at the are the best players in Ghana at the moment. We are looking at the 26 that have been chosen. Whatever the politics and whatever that happened in their selection should be left in the in, in the in the past. Now these 26 players are not representing their fathers. They are not representing their 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 mothers. They are representing Ghana, the motherland. Okay. So everybody should get behind them. The moment you start saying negative things about the players, that's a way of getting to them. They they also have their their mobile devices with them. They they see what the fans talk about them. When they know that the fans are, it has a way of playing in the in the subconscious of the players that oh the fans are criticizing me, and instead of improving psychologically, they they go on to make more mistakes. Femi, whatever happens, these players are putting their lives on the on the on, on the line for Ghana. Because we've simply we've seen people take flights from point A to point B, the, the flight crashes and everybody loses their life. So each time a player gets on the plane to come and represent his his country, we should we should give him the maximum respect and and support. So going into this game, like uh, not to lose sight of your question, we show we are looking at the le the first level will tell you how all the ones to play in this World Cup. One, then two, we will now look at the players' reaction. They've heard everything the fans have said. They know that in the mind of the average Ghanaian fan, they are not uh, very, very uh, happy. So they want to make Ghana and Africa proud. They will go into this game so that they give us a glimpse of what is going to happen at the World Cup. One. Then secondly, family, like I always caution, we should not be worried about the scoreline. More, me, I will be looking at individual players and looking at subplots, looking at how the defense reacts to uh, attack, looking at how the midfield tries to play their way out of trouble, looking at how the how, how the how the forwards try to take half chances. Those are the subplots that you look at in games. Everything put together will not make a good performance. So I'm looking at a good performance from the team. If they like, let this game end. In a in a draw, like you said, uh, the other the pundits have predicted, let it end in a narrow win or narrow loss. It doesn't matter, Femi. The most important thing is that they should go into their first game against Portugal with a positive mindset, and the positive mindset will come from a good performance against Switzerland and the support of the fans. I expect the the Ghanaian president to talk to the players, let him let let them know that everybody is rooting for them, everybody is behind them. That has a way of lifting players' morale, Femi. There's nothing like getting a call from your president. Not everybody will have that opportunity in their lifetime. So when you get a call from your president that tells you that, you know what, all of Ghana, all of Africa are behind you guys, it will lift their morale. You see players giving 120%. 
So the fans, I'm talking particularly to the fans now, let us get behind these players. Forget whether uh, Pencil, who was your favorite player, was dropped. Forget whether, whether Isha, Ishaka Fatahu is not your ideal player. Forget about where you, the goalkeeper you would have wanted to be in goal. Those who are going to the World Cup are not representing, uh, they are not representing monkeys and ants. They are representing Ghana. <laughs> they are representing Ghana. So everybody should get behind them, Femi. Forget about the, I've always cautioned, forget about the performance, uh, about the results. The most important thing for me is if I'm willing to take a loss in this game, if the performance is satisfactory. Wow. Yes, for me. I, yes, I am very, very serious. Because if I, you, I remember how disappointed you were that because we expected the blaster to be Nicaragua silly, but it, it, turned up, it turned out the other way around. It, but they won their game, and I was still disappointed because of the performance, because the players did not react. That's why I'm telling you that even if they lose this game, and I see a positive mindset, I see their reaction. Even when they fall, fall behind, Femi, that would be a good takeaway from me. And I'm sure it will leave the players, the, 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 the morale of the coaches to that, you know what, we are on to something. This is a project, Femi. It's not, it's, the the World Cup is not about Switzerland. It's not about even the first game against Portugal. It's a three, they have three games to show that they deserve to be in Qatar. And sure. let's give them the opportunity to, to prove it, Femi. Let's give them that opportunity. All right, James, I'll, I'll, I'll come to you now. <laughs> Let's look at the friendly between uh, Nigeria and Portugal. That friendly will be taking place um, in Lisbon. And thank God that it will be much later after uh, the Ghana friendly against Switzerland. Now, how much interest do you think, um, or how keenly do you think Otwado will be uh, watching that game? Yeah, it's going to be an important game for him. And, um, you know, uh, the reason why uh, uh, Portugal has tried to play Nigeria is because, you know, the almost similarity between Nigeria and uh, Ghana. And they know that uh, it was Ghana that knocked Nigeria out of the uh, World Cup uh, playoffs, you know. So, um, it, it's going to be a, a good one. And um, I know Ghanaians who want to follow the, the game. The outcome of that game will be very interesting. <laughs> will be of interest to the Ghanaians. But if the Super Eagles will beat Portugal, you know, I mean, you kind of give them kind of hope. But if mm -hmm. the Super Eagles will yeah. lose Heavily because the Super Eagles have not been playing well. They've lost like their last last four games. I'm not mistaken. And if they lose the game, the I mean, game, yeah, yeah, you know. So the 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 Ghanaians, if the Super Eagles lose heavily, they will kind of have a thing that has this Portuguese team <laughs> loaded with uh, uh, world stars, you know. So for me, it's a, it's going to be a, a very important game for Nigeria and Ghana. Even also for Portugal too. So um, well, I'm not expecting an exclusive encounter. That's like what we've been saying since. Nobody wants to get injured now. The Portuguese are still in, in, in Port the, the, the national team. They're still at home. <laughs> you know, so, so anybody... Not who... They're not going to the World Cup. So if they can do Ghana and say, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. so I, so I'm also really are actually need... saying that... Sorry, James. So Nigerians are actually yeah. saying that um, the Super Eagles should do Ghana a favor. Take out some Portuguese players so that this they can do Ghana. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, I, you know, we want to avoid Super Eagles. We are not. We are not. We, we are not a country. Who, 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 we don't have players who, who, who intentionally hurt other people. No, we don't. Yeah. We don't do that. It's not. It's not in our. In our. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's come with Nigerian players. Mm -hmm. you know, we just allow you to shine. If you're better than us, we accept it. We see in the national team, in at the national stadium, where we, once the opposition, uh, opposition team. It's playing well more than the Super Eagles. The, 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 the team switch sides. Now Ginger, the Super Eagles, will come back and play. You know, so, like I said, I'm not looking um, out for an explosive first encounter. I'm looking for a good game. You know, so that the Super Eagles will be able to continue good game. So that the Super Eagles is one of the best teams in Africa. That's why to face um, the, the Super Eagles, you know. So an opportunity for some French players who have not been really uh, doing so well for Super Eagles. This is now Osima is not going to be part of it. We'll see the line, maybe um, Colonel Nachu or banging the goals in Belgium. Uh, Syria Desa is just finding his feet in Syria. So uh, some of these guys, <clears throat> and we have um, Bright Osai somewhere from Fenerbahce, you know, and um, uh, Imichi from uh, Bruno Imichi from uh, Boa Vista. You know, There's going to be an opportunity for this guy, for the coach too. To, to try out new players because I just have to try new players. We, 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 I think it's that time we start seeing other players. We've seen the Indigis, we've seen the Joe Aribos, we've seen all those guys. We know what they can do. This is a friendly game. This is an opportunity to try out. You never can tell. You might just discover one gem somewhere, and that will kind of uh, give you the, the team uh, a good back, uh, good backing when the likes of Indigis or some of these uh, notable names are not. Uh, maybe they, they are not part of the team, you know. So it's not all the time you keep 
recycling the same players all the time, you know. So for me, let, let, let's just hope for a good game. And I know that the producers are going to give us, a, we are, the two teams will give themselves a good um, a game. And um, at the end of the day, uh, I just want the spike to play well. Sometimes it's not about the results, it's how the team play. When they played against Algeria, we said that they, they could not even string passes together. While the Algerians were doing it with ease, we just had the Super Eagles were just struggling to keep possession. So sometimes friendly games, they just they try out new formation, see how your team performs, you know. So, I mean, I, I'm looking up for, uh, forward to uh, a decent uh, encounter from both teams. So, okay, Carol, the, uh, the friendly between Nigeria and Ghana has so many fronts to it. Now, angry Manchester United fans in Nigeria, I know uh, you are particularly not happy about Ronaldo's explosive uh, interview with Press Morgan, uh, saying that, like I said earlier, they are saying that uh, did you should take out uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, as in they do not even want to see him anymore. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> and they will consider that this guy will know that Ronaldo will not be playing against them. But either win or either win or lose for uh, for Nigeria, I think. Excuse me. I think it will send a lot of message to Portugal, uh, to to the Ghana. If Nigeria win, it will be that oh, we can actually beat Portugal. Then if Nigeria lose. I think the Black Stars will they will have to tighten their trousers the more. What do you think? Well, well, no two games are the same, Femi. The fact that Nigeria could potentially beat Portugal does not mean when they play Ghana, Ghana will also beat them. What I want Ghana to do is to use the Nigerian-Portugal game to, to measure their own strength. Not look at what Ghana or Portugal, not what Nigeria or Portugal will do. In this in this game, it would have been better if Nigeria were also going to the World Cup, so that you know that it will, there will be an element of seriousness. What they they have something to look forward to. But since that's not going to be, they are going to play for national pride. And uh, another problem that James overlooked is the fact that the the Super Eagles in the last four or five games have been very totally unrecognizable. You see all, all, all sorts and manners of players coming into the team. And I must confess, the last time I watched the Super Eagles play was the, the World Cup qualifier against Ghana in Abuja. I've not, I've not watched them play since then because I've seen all sorts of things going on around the team. Having said that, but I think... think... Because of the new coach also, because of Jose Paisero just trying to know the team? No, you see, Femi, the, 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 there are some calls that you cannot justify about invitations to the team. And I don't want us to go into that. I want us to focus on the Ghana-Switzerland game because it has far greater implications for the game uh, again, between Nigeria and Portugal than for Nigeria now. So the focus should be on Ghana. They are the ones going to the World Cup, not Nigeria. So having said that, I also think that, like he said, like Jim said, this game, a, a good performance for Nigeria will show Ghana that the Portuguese are not uh, they are not in full they are not a team that you cannot take on and beat on any day so all they just need to do is look at how Nigeria will set up against against Portugal luckily the Nigerians are, are the Portuguese coach who has the thinking uh, the DNA of, of, of Portugal in, in his blood hopefully that will help Ghana to see where they can hurt Portugal so if luckily, like you said, the game against Portugal will come after their own game. So everybody, especially the coaches, now Femi, the 21 man technical crew that they are taking to the World Cup will have their hands full. They have a job to do now. They should scout, look at the game critically, and be able to give a, a, a technical report to the uh, to to Otoado and Yuchi yeah. and, and Boateng and Dramani that okay, you know what? This is what where we think we can hold these players. Nobody should. Anyway, we're going to talk about this when we talk about the when we preview the Ghana uh, Portugal game. But I I always, I always just want everybody to emphasize the fact that Portugal. Ronaldo Ronaldo is going to be playing for Portugal. Ronaldo might actually not be the man we are looking for. I will talk about the guys we should be looking for in the Portuguese team when we preview their game against Ghana later as we as we inch towards the World Cup. But the bottom line is that Ghana should first and foremost play their game against Switzerland with a mindset to improve. Femi, I choose my words carefully. Improve on their last performance. Mm. Not, if you win, fine, it will be like a bonus. But play well by your own standards. Let people look at you and say, you know what? The guys left everything on the pitch. They played very, very well. And that for me will be good enough. What does it take? Mm. What what does it matter if you beat Switzerland 10-0 and you go lose to Portugal? That's what counts. Not the game against Switzerland. The game against Switzerland is to prepare you is a prelude to the game against Portugal. So why you are taking the game against Switzerland serious because it will measure the taste of your ability. You should have an eye on the 
again against Portugal that that's actually what you are aiming for because we want a good result in that game. A good result does not mean they should beat Portugal for me. If they are able to hold Portugal to a draw or even if they are going to lose, let it be a slim loss and they do well for me. It will, it will, it will put more, it will, it will give them more courage to approach the remaining games rather than doing wish washy against Portugal and now let every other person, especially the South Koreans, I want them to put the South Koreans in their place. Yes, and, and how could you how will you do that? If you do well against <laughs> against Portugal, it will it will help you. Ghana, Ghana can they can take on South Korea. The South Koreans are very, very dangerous. We're going to talk about them too when we get to that point, Femi. They are very in fact I will fear the South Koreans more than I will fear uh, Portugal. I will, I will talk about all of those uh, when we get when we yeah, yes, Femi. I will tell you why when we preview the game against guy against South Korea. Not to be Uruguay. No, 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 no. I will tell you why, Femi. I will tell you why the South Korean game is much more important than even the the, the Uruguayan game. But a lot we have a lot for the fans. When we get to those points, we are going to do all of that. But now, uh, let me round up by saying what I expect Otoado and the players to do. Otoado will, will try to put out his best eleven. Now, his best eleven. If I am not a coach, I'm not the Ghana coach. But if I were him, I will play my strongest eleven. And where he has a problem, for me is in the middle of the pack because the 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 the, oh. the fortune of this team will depend on how reactive they are how, how proactive sorry the the midfield is they should not wait until the team is behind or the, when the team is under enormous pressure before they start playing they should take the game to switzerland that's the way to make people fear you, Femi. If you sit at home, even if you, if you have a 21 caliber gun and you refuse to, to show people, that's what they, what they call the show of force in military circles. You show people that, you know what, we have these weapons and we are willing to use it. But if you sit at home and you hide your, game, your gun in the bedroom, even ants and cockroaches will come and play in your, back, in your backyard. <laughs> so for me, I think we are going to see a good game. And I hope the players are going to react appropriately. Hopefully, when we... When we review this game, Femi, tomorrow, after the game, when we do a review, we're going to have uh, cause to smile. Everybody all around, we are going to have cause to smile. That's what I think. Okay, guys, be, uh, before I let you go, I'll put you on the spot now. Kyle, what are you uh, looking out for? Uh, what, will be, what do you think will be the spot like uh, Ghana, Switzerland? A draw? 1 1. 1 1. Yes. A draw of any kind. Okay, predicted. Okay, okay. If it's going to be a score draw, let's say one one. Who do you think will score for Ghana? Um, I would think somebody from the middle, or I think uh, Inaki Williams is ready for his first goal for Ghana. I think so. I hope he is, but it doesn't matter who scores for me. Mm, I hope okay. it is. Like All right, we, James. I would even if it is uh, at Ziggy that will come from the goalpost to come and score. I just want them to score. <laughs> right. okay. James, what what do you think yeah. will be the score line between Ghana and Switzerland? Um, I think What's I your want prediction? to go with. I want to go with Kyle. one one. Mm. One one. Because both teams okay. will be your score uh, cautious. No. Uh, let me see. For don't, Ghana. Mention party. don't mention party. Don't, don't <laughs> mention Kudus. party at all. I think Kudus, Mohamed Kudus, to, I think should do it for Ghana. <laughs> Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed and Kudus. for Switzerland. Okay. I, think, uh, I think you got Jaka, 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 Jaka has been um, getting into uh, scoring positions for Arsenal. And uh, if he's allowed to do that against Ghana, I think he's going to score. I think he's found his scoring boots under Ateta. So. Please, can you leave Arsenal? Yeah. Arsenal? I, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he was going to tell you that <laughs> Saka will score for Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the on the show today. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, okay, thank you for coming on the on, our, on the show to preview this game. Yeah, all right, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, network isn't really doing well, but guys. Thank you for coming on the show today to preview this game. Hopefully, like I said, when we come around tomorrow to uh, not to review the game, we'll have cause to smile as well as Ghanaians. Thank you guys for coming. So, of course, our daily countdown for the 2020 FIFA World Cup continues tomorrow. See you guys. Bye for now. Yeah.